Hello and welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're going to be going through some player treatment techniques that I use on all my designs. Uh, we've got a render here pre-cut from Footy Renders um, just for us to have a little play around with some lighting techniques. I've already got a camera raw preset applied which is one that I use personally on all my uh, designs and projects. It just reduces the contrast slightly, fiddle around with the shadows and highlights and reduce the vibrancy and saturation. We also increase the clarity slightly and the texture just to give it a little bit more of a, a pop. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to apply a gradient map and a curves layer which are set to the luminosity blend mode. Um, the curves layer is just your basic curve. We just bring the shadows down slightly and bring the highlights up just a little bit. And then what I normally like to do, I like to invert this mask and then go over it with a soft brush tool. Set with the flow to about 50%. So the first thing, we're gonna go over the skin more than anything. Um, just because he's got tattoos, it's nice to bring them out a little bit more. So we're just going to paint over these, just to bring the contrast back on them slightly and just go over the highlight part on this curves layer and perhaps his knee as well. And you see it just, it brings that a little bit of contrast back in the areas that are most likely to catch your eye especially because he's got tattoos. And then we're gonna bring the gradient map back in. And again, we're gonna alter this again and invert the mask. And I'm just gonna go back over certain parts that I wanna stand out a little bit more. I don't wanna overdo it too much. So we're gonna go back over the tattoo a little bit there. And his tattoo is this side. And then we're gonna go over the parts that we didn't do mainly the darker areas of his face and perhaps go over the shorts a little bit and his legs so there's the before and then there's the after just adding a little bit more contrast back to the, the design itself I'm actually going to go back into here And I actually want to take out this green tint on the shadows be here. So we're going to go to the color mixer. I'm actually going to bring the greens all the way down. So as you can see, we've removed the tint here from the, the sh shadow on the shirt. It has taken the greens out slightly on his um, tattoo beer, but I'm not too worried about that right now. So it's looking a lot better than it was originally if we take Obviously the camera will preset off as well. Add that back in and our curves layer and our gradient map. So then underneath all this, I'm gonna add a new layer and I'm just gonna bring the flow down on this soft brush to about 5%. And then I'm just gonna draw in a couple of extra shadows Then I want to bring the edges out a little bit with a bit more light. So what I tend to do here is add another curves layer. Again, I'm going to set this to luminosity. And I'm going to drag this up this way to above there. Then I'm going to invert the mask and we're going to go back to the soft brush tool. I'm actually going to set this one to 100% flow. And then I'm going to fill in the edges again with the soft brush tool. So 
So if I just duplicate this layer, take the camera filter off. So this is what we started with. And then once we've added all our uh, treatments, we end up with a render that looks like this. And I think overall, if you're putting this in design, you'd be pretty, pretty happy with it. The only other thing that I added pre-starting this was obviously foreshadows. I've got another video on how I do my foreshadows, so I'll leave a link in the, in the description. I also have a free uh, foreshadow brush preset pack, um, so I'll also leave that in the description as well. I hope you found this video um, helpful. If you'd like to see me do more in-depth videos on different types of renders and how to do lighting, um, we can do that in the future. But that's it for this video. Please subscribe um, and I'll see you in the next video.